All right, guys, I'm gonna do a quick little tutorial here about how to change the tool on the end of the CNC machine. Just in case I'm not here and you guys are using this machine and it does end up breaking one of the bits right here, I wanna show you guys how to change that out. It's really not a complicated process. It's gonna require you to use this wrench right here and it should always be sitting up on top of the control box of the CNC machine. So when you guys do break it or need to change this out, the way that you're gonna do it is preferably have a computer connected and raise your Z axis um, up to the top. It's a good habit to get into to home the machine uh, just so that the machine is down in its machined home and the Z axis is all the way up. I've gone ahead for this and removed the dust shoe holder and I'm going to go ahead and remove the other one. So to do this you just loosen up the green screw and you slide it straight out of the top. So on this one right here, just going to loosen, slide this thing up and now it's out of the way. We are going to want to put these back on here though. Uh, so I'm just going to set those right there. Usually if I keep things sitting right in front of me, I will not forget about them. Now the collet spins freely or the tool spins freely inside of the router. You do want to make sure that you never hit the on off button or come close to it. Um, last thing you want is for this thing to kick on while you're trying to loosen this thing. Now you can see in the view that you're looking at right now that there is a little yellow button that is right here. This locks the spindle. So if I push this in and rotate this, it does not want to spin anymore. Um, so that allows me to get this tool, slide it up onto here, and then I can crank and loosen. So you have to hold the yellow button and then you're gonna crank to the left and it's gonna loosen it. And it's only gonna loosen it part way. As you loosen the rest of it by hand, it's gonna tighten back up. And so you have to put the tool back on here one more time, crank it the rest and then you can loosen it by hand and this bit should come right out of the bottom of the machine, just like that. To put the bit back in or a new bit back in, you're gonna slide it up into the collet, push the button, go ahead and tighten by hand until it grabs and doesn't wanna slide out of there. Make sure that you're not hitting any of the flutes. You want the round shank of the bit to be slightly protruding from the collet. So you don't want any of the flutes, the cutting edges, up in here. So then you're going to hold the yellow button, put the wrench back on, tighten, and then tighten again. This does not have to be superhuman. So don't over tighten this thing because it will end up stripping out the button that I'm holding onto with my left hand. So you can let go and that is it. So now you'll have to re-zero out your work home uh, and you should be ready to start cutting again, guys. Um, there is a small little plastic container of new bits that I'm gonna keep right on top of the machine. You do not need to change one of these unless it breaks. And as long as you're doing everything correctly and zeroing out the machine, you really shouldn't break too many bits with the materials that we're cutting. Uh, when we start getting into metals and things like that, that's when we tend to see things break. But as long as you set the correct material and easel, the feeds and speeds for it should be just fine. And we really, again, shouldn't break any of these things. So, good luck, fellas.